blue crawler to pray for. Uh, also wanted to remind us that we are having donuts. They're not donut holes because donut holes closed, but we've got a substitute today. So, uh, and I think coffee and smoothies are back there today. So we appreciate everybody that, that does that. Gary, man, what a great sermon. We appreciate it. I just, we need to listen. We need to hear. We need to hear that call. And as a church, we've got to think about it. This Christmas season, are we willing to fall to our knees and worship the King? I've got a blue card here uh, from Kerry Hulber. Uh, Dalton Flowers is a father of a friend of hers that lives in Michigan. Uh, he has COVID, and he's also had a heart attack, and his kidneys are not working. So I, I thank you for, I appreciate Kerry's heart that as somebody far away from here that She's concerned about and love. So let's remember Dalton. Uh, my good friend Jim Rogers at our Destin Annex in Oklahoma. Uh, I want to remember to pray for him. Uh, we love him and we love his sweet bride. Uh, I know he's, he, he's, he's battling right now, but I think uh, Teresa sent a text that he was eating breakfast this morning uh, and getting ready to, to watch our worship. So we we be... We, Watch over Todd and, and, Jan, and uh, Jan as they're there with him. So let's remember them. Uh, bow with me. Ooh, Father, what a day. What a message, God. Every time we hear those scriptures that remind us of Jesus, dear Lord, help us to, to think of him and, and what he was here for and that he didn't have to come here for us, but because of your love and his love that he did, and oh, thank you for that, Father, because we would be so lost. Dear Lord, I want to lift Dalton to you this morning, flowers, for healing, Father. It's a bad time to be having COVID and heart attacks and kidneys, dear God, in, in just any circumstance, but to be struggling with all that at the same time, dear Lord. We need you to step in, Father, and put a healing on him, and put a peace on him, Father, and his family and friends like carry that, that that support them and we thank you for that and father god my brother jim i pray for him today and i pray for him every day as a matter of fact you know the love that we have for him this church has for him and we know that we the the blessed blessing you have of, of jan and todd be able to be there with him dear lord put some comfort and peace on that family and healing dear lord especially on jim and we thank you, Father, as we go this week that we can be thinking about what we heard today and we can think about Jesus and we can think about your spirit, Father, and that how you will call us if we will only listen. You will call us to do those things that you want, you want us to do, Father. Give us, give us courage to be able to accept those and keep thoughts that the evil one might put in our minds, dear Lord, that that want to contradict the things that we know that you are speaking to us. I thank you, God. I thank you for this season. I thank you for your love. And it's the, it, I pray in Jesus' holy, powerful name, Father. Amen. Amen. I'd like to remind everybody to uh, take your uh, cups and your stuff that the Father's given in the back right there in the front. And any trash that you may have uh, brought in.